Hey guys, what is up? It's Dusty here and welcome back to another crypto video and today we have a couple of really interesting things to discuss mostly regarding the XRP price and hodling XRP but you might already see it coming. I have a question for y'all. Do you think that $10,000 per XRP is possible? Yes or no? Put it in the comment section down below. And the reason I am asking you guys this is because I want to talk about it today. Plus, of course, some other kind of questions slash interesting stuff. Just sit tight, watch it. I think it'll be enjoyable. But before we get into any of that, the Bybit competition is still on. Right now, it has officially started since this morning, which means you can see the full ranking. Basically, how it works is it's a trading competition. 30,000 XRP can be won by you guys. Only the people who used my link. Right now, there's 120 people who entered and... Yeah, I just recommend you guys check it out. 30,000 XP in total. Right now, we are at 6,000 XP, which will be guaranteed given away. You can see the exact people who are going to win it, by the way, as of this point. However, you can also see a lot of people have 0%. This is basically their profit. And so, theoretically speaking, these five people here on the bottom are going to be winning 204 at least XRP without putting in any effort theoretically speaking all right so that's why i said make sure you check it out i've seen a couple of competitions as well where people actually with a loss win it because other people all lose more just join check it out if it's something for you but you can read into it all right having said that i don't want to keep spending me guys about it but it's like it's such a good deal i, I have to tell you one xrp ten thousand dollars is it possible start at the bat yes however and that's again the most important part there's a very specific scenario in which this could work and i'm going to quickly tell you guys a little bit of a story about why the valuation in dollars do not matter if it gets to ten thousand very specific but very important so for xp to get to ten thousand dollars per coin i think you already can guess that it, it can't really be in a system that we currently have there's just too much money locked up in xrp it would be odd Unless there would be a new party coming in and a new entire new system made for XRP. But then, I mean, that type of stuff is not something you can already expect or, or make any inferences on, basically. I mean, if XRP completely gets redesigned, we cannot really put any expectation up for that right now. So we should basically calculate and, and think our strategies on what we have right now, which is basically XRP, possibly change the financial system, bridge currency, uh, designed as a... A, a digital reserve currency okay okay if we, if we kind of add those things up the only way in which i would see ten thousand dollars for xrp is if it really does become that world reserve currency the digital version or people really start to value crypto for what they are as a currency in its own respect and that basically means the dollar value which an xrp has this is again if xp were to become the main crypto doesn't really matter it's like you, for example, calculating how many freaking uh, sand corals a freaking dollar is, where sand corals, I mean, nobody cares about it, right? You can really say, oh, yeah, it's freaking a billion sand corals to get the same uh, amount of dollars. Who gives a crap because nobody uses that payment system, right? The dollar is the main one, and all these smaller ones that you can kind of measure it with that are not the main ones, you know what I mean? are not really that relevant. And that's also a story that a lot of people used to say with Bitcoin. The dollar valuation don't matter because one Bitcoin is still one Bitcoin. And that's, again, a thing with currencies changing over right now. Another kind of theory you might put up there is that, okay, since we're having some massive inflation right now, U.S. debt is crossing the line, going crazy. There's two main scenarios. One, massive manipulation of the price because of some rich folk. I mean, it could happen. And two, where it's basically the dollar is going to devalue so ridiculously much, such a huge amount of inflation, uh, that this $10,000 per XRP is basically the same as uh, 100 previous dollars per XRP. So that's basically my couple of scenarios. And I think a lot of people agree with me here saying, well, there's actually a couple of things which you can put up. For example, here, they're talking about quantum computers, and there's a lot of different theories, a lot, a lot of different theories. Um... But a lot of them base it on the fact that XRP is going to be number one. There's a burn. Uh, there's a good chance that the number one crypto is going to be multi-trillion. Uh, like here, for example. Let's quickly check it out. Mm. 
here we go. XRP would be $7,600 if the market cap was $300 trillion. It would have to be the number one coin in a market with a total market cap of around $600 trillion, assuming a 50% dominance. This is not impossible seeing a global stock market is $70 trillion, I think more, right now. And I feel there could be a significant economic boom from the results of crypto. And theoretically speaking, if the global stock market, I mean, how much do we put it at? Like, let's say $100 trillion, maybe even more. How much is the entire stock market? I have no freaking clue, man. Uh, but if we were to put it up a little bit higher than that, in the next 10 years, I think it's going to at least double, right? If not more. So if you take 20 years, for example, it will most likely be at that point. And with XRP and all those things, their currency is not stock. So it works rather different. Yeah, that's another important point to make. But, you know, one plus one being in this specific case here that... It's not that impossible as some people make it out to be. Uh, do I expect it to happen? No. I'm not going to sit here tight waiting for it. No, 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 no. Uh, but theoretically speaking, it's possible. Now, the burn, which a lot of people put into place here, is actually something which you should not consider one of the facts that the price is going to go up for. Why am I saying that? Well, because a lot of people say, oh, yeah, because uh, if half the XP would be burnt or if the, 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 the because XP is deflationary in some sort of sense, which is also debatable because right now XP is actually inflation or inflation. Well, Infl how to say that word inflationary there we go uh until ripple is running out of escrow basically until that point it's, it's inflationary currency uh, but afterwards it's going to be completely deflationary yet it's not going to increase the price by far because i checked it out here and the average burn is between 11 million oh sorry guys eleven thousand and four thousand a day and let's say about five thousand to just be you know easy with that which basically would mean about 1.8 million xp per year now, again, you can kind of put a, a little bit higher than that because, well, maybe, right? Let's say 2.5, let's even say 5 million XP per year that gets burned. Even at that point, it, it wouldn't really make that big of a difference if 5 million XP a year gets burned, right? I mean, who's going to care about 5 million XRP? It's about the billions. So it would take a very long amount for any significant amount of XP to actually be burned. Point being, the burn is not really a big consequence. And specifically in that regard too, the big 50, X, 50 billion XP burn of all the XP out there, it would have maybe a, a little bit of a shock effect. So people could kind of react to it like, oh, wow, and maybe buy a little bit because of it or or do some crazy trades because of it. But longer term, it actually does not matter, as we saw with uh, Stellar, as I guess in the best theory, the price could double. But even that, I don't know, guys, I think it's just wishful thinking. There's no real good reason why the price would do crazy because of a burn like that. If Ripple doesn't have any control anymore, what exactly are you excited for regarding XRP's price? Like, uh, I mean, what is, what is Ripple going to do? Who is exactly going to keep the momentum up and whatnot? There is going to be some incentive, but the majority of it is still Ripple. Not going to lie to you. All right. A lot of the process, progress, I should say, with XRP is still Ripple related. And so if you take all of that away, yeah. I'm not sure if that's worth it for the amount of utility that Ripple would bring. I guess having a foundation in some ways is very, very nice. And even though they could do it without any incentive, it's a lot less easy, right? So it's it's a 50-50 for me. I'm, I'm going to say, no, even the half burn is not going to be that big of an effect because it didn't really have that one of a of an effect for Stellar. And theoretically speaking, the, the community could already decide to do it away, but they choose not to because it's not in everybody's best interest. All right. And then a little fun fact is that you might say, oh, wow, okay, but, uh, you know, everybody would be so extremely rich. A little bit of a joke is that you think a lot of people are going to be holding uh, to that point. One fun fact is that I believe if XP were to go on a huge skyrocket right now, the majority of people would actually sell at a couple of dollars, $10, for example, to only then just keep looking at it once it goes higher and higher and higher, and then maybe buy back in once it's at, for example, $100, if you know what I mean? And a lot of other people are actually not in it. The amount of holders having this crypto right now that would actually hold it to the top is actually not that significant. People would sell so much more before that. And a lot of people would sell all their coins at, for example, $50 for XRP. That no, a lot of people won't make it to that top. Even the founders, I don't know if they can actually make it that far up there, theoretically speaking, once more. Also, the interest in crypto is kind of funny. When it's low, people are too fearful. They don't go for it. They don't check it out. When it's high, oh yeah, but it wouldn't been get it in. All right. Then a chosen one put up here based on holding 10k XRP, 1250 XRP at $10 is 12,500, and you know, 1250 XP at $100 is 125,000, 1250 XP at $1,000 is 1.25 mil, and 1250 XP at $10,000 is 12.5 mil. Leaves you 
with 5,000 XRP for life, 5,000 XRP at $10,000 is 50 mil, passive income and generational wealth perspective. Even though I really despise this little picture, because he's talking about some ridiculously high prices like we are doing in this video. Uh, it is relevant for the video, so that is cool. And it, it puts in a perspective, which is have layers in your buying or selling strategy. That's actually kind of what my, my initial goal of this video was going to be, that whatever the price is gonna go to, have layers towards it because you never really know how high it can go and you better have too much that rather than too little, if you know what I mean, like too many targets rather than too little uh, and just kind of spread it out piece by piece. If you want to sell, for example, at $1, $2, $3, $4, $5, you could, um, but I would always say don't expect the rise to end, if you know what I mean, like um, unless you want to buy back cheaper, you have a strategy in place. If you're just a holder who occasionally sells some coins that he's never going to buy back in, now, don't, don't be that type of guy who's going to just sell all these coins and be done. No, always keep some for a higher price. I, with almost any crypto I've ever bought, if I ever sell them, I will always keep some in my stash. Um, even if I plan to buy it back cheaper. Mostly just for the idea of what if this coin ever pumps, I'm going to I'm gonna hate myself. I'm going to kick myself in the freaking face. So I, I'm not that type of guy. Maybe you are. Lucky you. And there's a couple of things which you can actually do for yourself. Uh, there's two things which I recommend. One is put a little bit of a sheet for yourself to get it like this, for example, just uh, putting your amount of XRP, the price you predict, and then the amount of money you will get to is right here. Or a different way around, if you want to calculate how much XRP you'd need for you know a certain amount of money to have in the end with a certain specific price. Or if you know the amount of money you want to get to, you know the amount of XRP you, you are going to be able to get, calc or calculate the price that it needs to get to to get to your goal. The reason I'm saying that is that I really believe it's important to visualize everything you're thinking about in this specific regard. So make sure you check it out properly, do your calculations. And another thing which you could do is actually make a little bit of a layer. I don't have it anywhere here, but you basically make a um, scheme for where you would cash out how much. In our different document, which we sometimes show, I do have it, but here we do not. So that is a uh, too bad. Um, no, I was just quickly checking if we had anything at the bottom here. Oh, here, I think we have, no, no, it's basically not. But uh, it was basically about that you should be buying your way, um, well, theoretically speaking, you should buy your way lower and sell your way up in different layers. And another thing I kind of was showing up here was that if you hold for multiple different years, it is always smart to use a place like BitTrue, uh, link is down below for that one, where you're basically getting interest on your crypto every single year because let's say you were holding for three years or so, your 1,000 XRP is still going to be 1,000 XRP. And if it gets to $4 a coin in 2017 and in 2021, you basically made no profit. You only, I guess, lost some opportunity right there within that little time frame. If you were, however, you know, taking, for example, 7% a year, your end amount of XRP could be way more. For example, in this specific case here, it could be 20% more um, after a couple of years, which might result in you know, a lot more money. You guys get how it works. A couple other things is uh, hold strong. You can get some volatile times coming up soon, but it's the it's the hold strong movement. And let's see. No, that was just where I found it. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about ten thousand dollars per XRP. I wanted to actually talk about five eight nine and about kind of selling your way up, but yeah, I think I've laid out all the fundamentals for you guys here. I don't expect ten thousand dollars per XRP to ever happen, nor thirty five thousand or anything like that. Will I be happy if it does? Yes. Are there any good reasons which you can tell me that that is going to make it happen though? No. Except for the things which I just explained to you guys. No quantum financial system. No um, utility going to be insane. No, 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 no. Ten thousand dollars per XRP. I, I don't really know about that. Unless once more we actually say, hey, XRP going to be number one. The crypto market is going to go grow times. 100 no let's say 400 from here and all that type of stuff but that's also wishful thinking because we can't really see that just quite yet it's the same thing as saying you know apple eventually will be 10 trillion dollars we all know it could theoretically speak and happen but it's not really within our sight here that again we all believe it if i were to tell you that apple's going to hit uh you know the next let's say a thousand trillions you would be like oh i don't think so then again logically speaking this world keeps expanding these companies will get more and more money inside of it if you told the people 50 years ago that a company would have a trillion dollars in net worth they'd look at you and smack you in the face because you're a lunatic lock you up in the in the big house uh and right now it's like yeah of course huh? two trillion we're getting to three trillion eventually so perspective it's all about perspective guys make sure you enter the buy competition link is down below you can see everybody who's entered already well you can actually only see the top 10 which right now a lot of players have zero I'm hoping more people are going to participate, though, and, and try it out because it is worth it. But whatever, guys. Link is down below. Go check it out. And I'll see you guys again in another crypto video.